Hello everybody. Happy Wednesday. I hope you are doing good wherever you are. I hope you're on a high place. I believe we had some rain yesterday, maybe a little wind and uh, maybe a little flooding around Mount Pleasant. I hope you're okay. I hope you made it to higher ground and uh, man, we just glad to get to visit with you today. Thank you so much for taking a minute and it is a great thing for me to be able to come wherever you are into your place of work. Don't get in trouble now or your home, or wherever it is, and you can let me visit with you a little while in the middle of your week to just do a quick little catch-up and, and let you know an update about what's going on at the Community Church of Mount Pleasant. We had a wonderful holiday time. We had a beautiful Christmas Eve service. We had a New Year's Eve service. We had uh, this Sunday past, we just had our first Sunday of the year. We talked about going deeper. Um, and, and I'll talk to you a little bit about that, but boy, we are ready to turn the page and start on our new year, 2024, and here we are well into it. This Sunday will be our second Sunday. A uh, busy week here on campus, all kind of things going on tonight, uh, sports things and, and Bible studies and all these kind of things, ministry teams, so a lot of things going on, but I did want to meet with you and catch you up a little bit. Just, uh, just real quick, a couple things coming up. We have our uh, baby bottle campaign coming up. This has become a really wonderful tradition for us. Gate Pregnancy Resource Center is partnered with us and, and they have an amazing ministry and, and uh, they'll be here on the 21st and I want you to hear from them on, on Sunday and we'll do our baby bottle campaign. I'll explain more about that. Uh, we have Sway on the 15th. That's our ladies ministry. Our men met uh, this past week for some men prayer group and then we have a night of laughter coming up. We have some comedians here, and, and this is a bridge event. This is an event where you can bring your friends, invite your friends, and, and, and the, the purpose is just to have fun, just to come together and have good, clean, fun time together. And then we have Place coming up on the 20th. I hope you are signed up for Place. We're going to extend that a little bit. So if you have never been to a Place experience at the community church, you need to come on the 20th. Uh, Plant-based cooking seminar. That's a, a really fascinating program that we'll have several uh, installations of that and, and you'll enjoy that. I hope you'll uh, check that out. Ignite is coming up and then we have a Valentine's banquet coming up February 2nd. So man, it, just, just some highlights and I really want you to know uh, there are many, many ways to communicate, find out what's going on. You can, you can uh, on your phone, if you have a smartphone, we have an app. You can get the CCMP app for free and check on there, and man, you can go anywhere. You can go to our website, you can go to our Facebook page called The Movement, uh, and then you can, our Sunday Bulletin, if you come to church. and So we want to make sure that you are aware and keep up on all the things that are going on. It's a lot now. This is an active place, I'm telling you. If you get bored around here, that's on you. Uh, and I just, I love it. Yesterday, we were able to meet with our staff, and we have a... a energetic staff and just uh, can't wait for 2024 a lot of exciting things planned but today let me just give you a, a little a little short talk today we if you were at church Sunday or if you watched us online we started our new series three weeks and we're talking about going deeper and really what we're talking about is is are you a follower of Jesus Christ now wait a minute I know that's an easy yes. I know, oh, of course I am. Well, okay. Are you a disciple of Jesus? What does that mean? And, and really, the next two Sundays, we're going to get some clarity on what it means to, to follow Jesus. Because, see, everybody that's sitting in your church may not be a disciple. They might be saved. They might not be. They might be saved. But, but have they committed their life and... and, and cross that line of commitment, line of dedication, I'm going to be a disciple of Jesus. A disciple is one who follows a certain teacher and his ways. And, and this is the ways of Christ that, that are found in this book. And So I want to talk to you today a minute about what does it look like? What does a disciple look like? Because we, if we're going to be something, we need to know what that means. We need to know. And, and so we talked Sunday about a couple things. We talked about some New Year's resolutions. We talked about some good ones that people list. I'm going to lose weight this year. I'm going to quit smoking. I'm going to be more organized. I'm going to get more sleep. All A lot of good things. One would be maybe I'm going to get in the Word more. Well, that's a good one. 
I hope that's on your list, but even even my, what might even be a little better is to let the Word get in you. And there's a difference. So we, we, we are doing some things this month to help us all to begin to grow a little deeper, take a look, a hard look in, inside of us, and, and see if we really are a follower of Christ. Uh, and, and so today, I want to help us continue to learn more about discipleship. John chapter 13 this is, uh, in my Bible here, this is red letters. That means it's Jesus talking. And Jesus says in verse 34 of John chapter 13, A new commandment I give you. Now, what does that mean, preacher? Uh, Jesus has a new gospel. Jesus has a new message. And, and that's why everybody got mad at him. That's why the, the, the old school ways, the Pharisees, Jesus was disruptive because their way was the law. I mean, you got to keep the law, man. I mean, you got to learn. You got to go through all these things and and follow the letter of the law. A little bit legalistic, and and it, and you had and that was and Jesus brought a new message. You know what his new message was? A new commandment, a new covenant. It was love. So you have law. The law was the old way. The law really was important because it brought it helped us realize how how much of a failure we are, how we cannot keep the law because we we're sinners, man. I can't. There's so many laws in the Old Testament, man. You can't even keep all those laws, and that was the way to Christ until Jesus came, and Jesus said, "I got a new commandment. There's a new sheriff in town. There's a new way, a new gospel." He said, I got a new commandment I give you, that you love one another. So I went, what now? Well, that's different. I thought you had to do all this checklist and, and all these things you got to do to keep the law to get to heaven. Well, Jesus changed that narrative a little bit. Jesus said, a new commandment I give unto you so that, that you love one another. The, the new way is love. As I have loved you. Now, that means, how did Jesus love us? He loved us unconditionally. Don't matter how many laws you keep or break or or how many tattoos you have or how many whatever it is that you do, it doesn't matter as long as Jesus loves you and, and died for you and paid your way with his blood. That is the new commandment, the new gospel. And so he said, I want you to love one another like I love you unconditionally so that you also love one another. Now, look, here's the verse I, I find interesting in verse 35. By this love, by this new standard, the standard of love, not the law, by this shall all men know that you are my disciples. What is a disciple, preacher? It's somebody who loves, who loves others unconditionally. And, and don't judge others. And, and accepts others. Don't care what color their skin is. Don't care where they go to church. Don't care where they live. Don't care how much money they got in the bank. The new standard is love. And Jesus said, all these people out there in the world, they're going to know you're a disciple by the way you love. So, let me ask you. If you have love for one another, are people going to know that you're a disciple of Jesus? That's really what a disciple looks like. You know, and that don't mean we're perfect. That don't mean any of that stuff. What that means is you have a choice. And we talked about New Year's Resolution Sunday. And, and we talked about if you're going to make a change, you're going to have to make some choices. And so you're going to have to make a choice to love people. You're going to be all grumpy and mean and judgmental and... and, uh, and, and, and cause guilt and hurt or you going to love people just love people love them doesn't matter that's what Jesus did for us so my question is as I finish today are you a are you a fan of Jesus or are you a follower of Jesus Christ if you're a follower of Jesus then you will love as he loved <laughs> that is the new way I'm so glad we don't have to keep all those laws because it is pretty impossible to do it's too many. It's, it's complicated. But love is simple. Accept the love that he has for you. Become a disciple and go make disciples. So, uh, man, thank you for letting me visit with you today. I, I'm excited about church. I want you to come and visit us this Sunday. 
uh, come to some of our activities, maybe find you a, a life group to get into, a Bible study group. You may want to come on campus maybe on Wednesday night and, and, and find some, some things to get involved with. You may want to be on a ministry team where you can serve others and, and feel fulfilled. Uh, I, I hope you will. I want you to come Sunday. If you can't be here Sunday, you watch us online. Uh, we stream our services, and, and I just really want you to be here. Uh, I want you to know we love you, and I cannot wait to see you. If you come, I want you to come, come shake my hand and let me get to know you. We're praying for you, and I hope to see you Sunday.